I'm just at this point, I'm going to put some yellow, um, yellow mica powder in this little elf's hair. I did the same thing on her body, but with the flesh colour, this one, naked. Um, so I'll just take a little bit of clear PVA glue. I don't know what you'd use in your country. It's usually white, but this is a clear one. I don't know. Um, yeah, PVA glue. Any water-based kind of kid's glue that dries clear, basically. So this is just the kind of glue you'd use for, you know, kids would use at school or you could just use for gluing cardboard, paper or kind of projects. Um, and it dries clear, even the white one dries clear. So you want um, some sort of clear drying glue. So, obviously depending on where in the world you are as to what products you have and where to get them. So this particular PVA glue I got in a local shop and it's local to my town, so it's not like I've been in a big chain store up and down the country or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I basically did, did the same process on her body. And it's, uh, yeah, with the naked one. Because um, I want them to have a little bit of a sheen to them. So, if I can just really carefully... And put some on the hair. Being careful not to touch my ears or my face. I find it quite a calming process. It's not something you do in a rush. It's a slow, relaxing process for me. And you can go whatever speed you like, but I like to relax and enjoy my arts and crafts. It's like a, almost like a meditation. Just uh, get in the zone. Sometimes I put some music on and uh, listen to music. But obviously if I'm uh, doing something for YouTube... can't chat to you if there's music on and probably get in trouble for copyright or something so yeah that's just a little bit on her hair oh yeah I realise I've got a bit of yellow on her leg but she's going in the water so it should be alright shouldn't show too much yeah so I'll do the same with both both of them and then make some little fino bars of soap and wash rags, wash cloth, flannel, whatever you call, want to call it and uh, some little bathtub accessories, maybe some little, little bottle of shampoo to put on the side of the path, I don't know. But yeah, that's the next step. Okay, so I've gone ahead and added some resin. Um, I didn't do it all on video because it's really, really quite a nightmare and it takes ages and ages. But what I did was I put some resin in the walnuts and then wait till it's really, really sticky, semi, semi set. And then I take a little piece of cling film, which um, in America I believe is called saran wrap, this stuff. And um, I poke a bit into the, into the resin and then use a little stick to manipulate it around and and cover it in the resin and just lift it and poke it into position I've also given them a little um washcloth in their hand each that they're washing with look um, and she's got a little washcloth on the end of her tub there but you can see how i've made the splashes i've still got to put another layer of resin that's just the sort of splash layer if you like so, and then I made these little flowers as their um, showers. 
shower unit things. So yeah, that's how I did the splashes, just with um, cling film, saran wrap, and leaving the resin to its tacky. And that one I did put some blue, this side I put some blue in the bottom to give it a bit of a different colour. Oop, but they're, they're dry now, so they're just, she more looks more like Miss Piggy than an elf, to be fair. Never mind. I haven't done fine for a while, and um, I tend to make things as if I'm making them for the children because I think that's how I started off my journey with Fimo, was making things for my daughter. But yeah, so those waves in the water are just made with um, cling film and the sticky resin sort of draped and dragged and to, into position there. And um, the flannels, they're the little washcloths here, made out of little bits of fabric coated in resin. So. And then it'll be finished when I've done another layer to just finish filling up the bathtub. So you do all the waves and splashes before before you actually fill it up. So it looks like there's motion in the water when it's finished. So yeah, sorry I didn't do the whole process, but it's taken me absolutely hours. I don't think it would have been a very exciting video, but um, yeah, it's still not finished. A little bit more to do. Um, I've just got them resting on some blue tack because otherwise they wobble about all over the place. But um, yeah, that's so far. So far, so good. Little pixies splashing around in the water. And they are all finished. I um, used a toothpick to apply the glue and to um, move the little bars of soap around. I'll give you a little zoom in so you can see the splashes in the water there and the little bars of soap and the flowers in their hair adorable i'm really pleased with those they'll make nice little gifts for some children to stick on their bedroom window set or something so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed um, just a little bit of fun with some Fimo and resin and a couple of bits of walnut shell.